Just feel the same Immune to all this pain And the scars don't write a song for me at all I am a stone, unaffected Rain hell down onto me Flesh and bone, unaffected Just feel the same Immune to all you say And the scars don't write a song for me at all No, your tears won't line a path for me to crawl I am a stone
Good evening, everyone. Oh, great. What's going on there? Okay, um, I wasn't really sure whether like this is the best time for me to do this because there's a lot of things going through my head right at the moment and I know I may sound a bit unreasonable but I think uh, my viewers and my supporter deserve to know what's going on because it's already spread out and it's not like old news there's a, a reddit post and I have already been on few team speak and Skype conversations with quite a lot of um, top players so um, I was going to kind of adjust my emotions a little bit before I stream so I can at least give you guys my top performance but things are moving a little bit quicker than I thought it would be and I guess it is quite a good idea for me to at least explain what's going on and hopefully prevent other players to have similar situation like mine so like what happened is I was in a conversation with a guy who I believe uh, is one of my viewers and he was asking me some questions about Monk and I was happy to to help him out so um, he seems pretty reasonable and not asking any weird questions so I did my best and then he was asking about some gear choice and, and so on um, and we were talking about gears um, he was linking some link to me and some of the link was okay, it was just some gear link but um, I did click on a link which was not linked to any gear and apparently it was a bad link it was something to do with a team speak sorry not team speak, team viewer and apparently it was like a plugin um, that got installed on my computer without me noticing it um, my antivirus did prop up and saying that um, there was this program's uh, a warning so I block it and I block it twice and that was not enough and I did not know at that time that this was something uh, that was planned by him um, I do have team viewings to on my computer uh, for my work purpose and so I did not think of anything particularly at that time and the threat shown by the antivirus was directed to a program name called Team Viewer so I guess that was not very clear, clever of me not to investigate a bit further in that but the harm was done, um, the program got installed and apparently that was a remote access program so it was kind of like a hacker program and what that program does is it lock all your activities um, and it also lock your key logging as well so your username and your password and I, I, I don't know how but he was able to get access to my computer without me giving him any permissions um, it was not through TeamViewer because my TeamViewer was not open but maybe um, the programs kind of open Team Viewer by itself. I don't know. Uh, I don't turn on Team Viewer um, when I'm not around, and I was hundred percent sure the Team Viewer was not open. So the program that I got installed on my computer seems to be doing quite a lot of stuff. Um, again, access for this particular hacker and he was able to lock all the information including username and password um, the thing about my authenticator 
uh, is I did not set it on always ask for authentications, so I set it on auto. I think that's what it calls auto or something. So I was a little bit lazy, and that was my own fault. I was a bit lazy to always log in with my authentications, my authenticator, all the time. So when I set it to auto, what it does is it occasionally asks for your code. So the code was stored on my mobile phone. I use my mobile app to use that. And then whenever you go on to some other locations, so some other IP address, it will then ask for authentications. So if I go to my friend's house, then I will need to enter that again. But this is different because he got access to my computer and my D3 was not on. Uh, I actually closed my D3. Um, and he was able to launch it and he was able to enter the username and password that he got from the key login software and because it was not a remote uh, well it was uh, accessed through my computer through the network I'm using so it's a same IP that I'm using it then did not prevent um, him getting access to my account and the authentication did not pop up as well so that is the first lesson um, I guess if you are a bit afraid of this kind of stuff um, don't be lazy, put the authentication on, on every entry, uh, not just auto, not just from your computer occasionally, but do it on every entry. Um, so what happened now is, as you can see, I have nothing here with me. Um, I have zero gold, and I don't know what happened there, but apparently he also used my PayPal to buy something. But here are some items, but here, uh, these are my, my bracer, so there's nothing left. Uh, uh, I got 20 mosquito chip. So he unsocketed all my items and then uh, he took it away. And it was all done through my computer. I was not in front of my computer, and I guess uh, if you ever see any suspicious about your computer activities or if you did click on any bad link from your friends and if you are experiencing like similar stuff the moment you see something happens you should then unplug your computer or unplug the network by the way so the question now is did I report of course I did report to Blizzard uh, the first thing I thought of it's not really my gear gear doesn't matter it just it just gear and what I did not want this to happen is first of all um, I don't want this to happen to other people and I don't want this to happen to all my friends and I also want to warn people who may get contacted by this hacker so I phoned Blizzard and they look into my account right away and they said they could not find anything anything suspicious. Well, that kind of makes sense because this is not accessed through another IP. <laughs> this is through my own IP. So, like, what proof do I have that I did not just transfer these items to some other people? I have no proof. Um, you guys have seen my gear. Uh, I could be like transferring all this gear to other people, and then that's something that Bizza could also think. <laughs> And everything was done by my computer with my IP, so um, at this moment, I don't know whether they would do a rollback. Um, I phoned them three times, um, trying to provide as much information as possible. The items are already being transferred to a seller called Moogie, and if you um, have been reading like the reddit post or if you have been reading some forum posts I'm pretty sure this name will keep popping up Mugi. so this guy now possess all my gear but not anymore actually because of course my gears are quite good and he already contacted a lot of top players so now the gears are going to be sold at a extremely low price 
to a lot of players that would want to buy this gear. And I don't blame them. Uh, a lot of them uh, were my friend, and I was on TeamSpeak with them. And I say, I can understand if you guys want to buy this gear. Um, and I don't know uh, any of the viewers here. Maybe you also get contacted by this Moogie guy as well. If you do, you don't need my permission to buy my gear. Whatever you want, whatever you want to spend, it is your business. And I cannot stop you that. But uh, one thing I do want to maybe uh, ask, if any of you are watching, is that if you find out there's other people apart from Moogie, that is selling my gear, then perhaps you can also inform me that so I can then hopefully warn people in the future that if you get ever get contacted by Moogie or any of the the user that's trying to sell my gear, perhaps that's a good indication that you have to be careful. So yes, Moogie um, 2230, that is the butt attack of person that is selling my gear, he's actually not the person that is a hack into my account. So the items have already been transferred either one times or two times at least. Um, so what happened now? I don't really know what happened. Um, I don't know whether I will get my item back, but what I do want to tell my viewers, and that is why I opened up the stream, while well, the second reason, the first part already done, I explained story and I explain what happens and before I move on to the second part I just want to give a shout to all the players out there if you want to be safe if you want to prevent this happen to you at least put on the authentications on every entry but that does not just that does not stop this threat uh, completely it's all about battling and try to update your windows um, as frequent as possible. I am not the only victim and along with another three or four players we all got hacked and we all got hacked through just one link and this link is very powerful that is able to get all your details. He was able to get my username and password on D3. He was able to even delete it himself on Skype. He was able to clear my Skype message. He was able to delete my my system restore point as well. And God knows what he has done to like, the rest of my computer. This is my, my work computer as well. So I'm also a bit concerned that whether um, like other files was altered or anything like that. So to prevent that, please at least put on authentications um, on every entry and do not click on any link. Uh, if you don't trust the person because that's what it takes just one link and you then have the magic access to my whole computer including um, like password username and everything um, so that is the first part the second part which is the, the sad part actually the gear um, can be gone or can be here, that doesn't matter. I can always play Monk without any gear. Uh, I can always start up again. But I guess a lot of viewers have noticed me saying this a lot recently. I've been saying that I really should cut down my streaming time and there are bigger and more important stuff for me to do in real life. And honestly, the viewers and the support I've got from this channel is what kept me playing. Diablo and no doubt I will always have you guys here around so for that I'm very very thankful and grateful but one thing I need to face myself uh, which has nothing to do with you guys and has nothing to do with what happened today is my, um, my real life and it was very difficult for me to pull the trigger to stop either play Diablo 3 or stop streaming because all I can think of is play and then talk to the viewers, try to support as much as possible. I do love the game. I play more than 4.5k hours on this game and that was a lot. And even at this stage, I still want to play. But that has really prevented me to 
either progress to more career in my real life or to do more meaningful stuff. I'm not saying playing games is not meaningful, but I'm addicted to Diablo 3 and I play too much. So I am going to use this as a sign so then I can hopefully pay more attention to what happened in my real life. There are friends around uh, who I should be paying more attention to. There are people who I care I should also pay more attention to. And there are my career where I should also be paying more attention to. I've been trying to save up to get a PC that I really want and I could have got there a long time ago if I just take up another job and that's probably something I would do um, I need to think about what will happen in a few years time on me and I cannot just keep playing Diablo 3 so unfortunately um, there's no easy way to say this I think this is going to be the end I know Blizzard may give my item back either because um, they can find out that I really did get hacked or maybe uh, they notice that I'm a streamer that doesn't matter the gear, if it's back, it's back if it's not back, it's not back I don't know whether I will still log into the other 3 that often I may just log into my like, chat with the viewers and so on I don't know whether I will still continue to support the monk community there are more things I want to do and I was actually prepared to show you guys a new build unfortunately that build will probably never be shown and that's okay because like, a few of my friends and maybe my moderators already know it's kind of a bug build and I wasn't really too keen on showing that anyway in the first place but so that's not going to be shown and I guess I will also not continue to like check the Diablo for, for a while because the more I check um, the more I want to come back and thank you very much guys like I know there are a lot of people who wants to offer me their care they want to offer me their gold it, it's okay um, I'm not quitting Diablo 3 because I got hacked I'm quitting Diablo 3 and streaming because there are more important things for me to do and perhaps that's something that some of you may also think about playing games is good um, if you are a streamer do it for fun if you like to support people definitely stream that's the best way to support people that is the main reason I started a stream in the first place I like to help people out and I like to like, talk to my viewers when I do a bit of fun and just general support so if that's something that you want to do by all means do streams but um, pay attention to what is around you pay attention to people who cares about you and pay attention to your future as well because the other three will not last forever uh, your life will so you have to like think about that <laughs> I don't know what to say but now I don't think I'll play anything particularly and just need to like pay attention to my job and like my real life like, like I say I did spend too much time on this But in the meanwhile, I guess I could use this opportunity just to kind of go through what I have been through from the beginning and like our journey together. I started the stream in November 2012. Um, it was very, very small and my connection was so bad, so I could not really bring out the best stream qualities to my viewers. 
but I had a lot of good friends who helped me out. A lot of my like old moderators, manager, juniors, they were there right at the beginning to, to support me. I was running with 0.7 meg of upload speed to stream and I wanted to give the players the best quality as possible so I lowered down everything at my end. Um, I could not open up any software, I could not open up any browser, I cannot have any YouTube link open, I cannot listen to online music, um, I cannot have Skype open even because any of that is going to use a little bit of percentage of my upload speed. So I was maximizing all my upload speed just for streaming qualities. And that was not enough, um, it was still very bad quality. So. I ended up purchasing a second line, uh, which is quite crazy stuff to do because you combine 0.7 meg upload to another 0.7 meg upload, you get like a 1.1 meg upload speed, but you pay like a lot of internet fees. That was okay because I was willing to invest just to bring out the best quality possible. So I was running slightly high upload speed after I combined the line. I also purchased like the, uh, the capture card, which then share my CPU load, so I can encode and compress the video more. So that's how I started the stream. Very bumpy, um, very small as well. Uh, I guess there's always something a little bit special about my streams. That's what kept people coming back, and that's what kept people staying with me and I like, try to offer help as much as possible and I then started to do a few extra stuff uh, I started to challenge myself into some of the, the speed kill back then Monk was very terrible no one was like a fan of Monk Monk was if you look at 2012 and um, Monk forum all of them are complaining how underpowered the monk is. So I dedicated quite a lot of time just to trying to make the monk character shine. And I succeeded by doing a few um, speed kill. I also succeeded by um, kind of popularize the one coming out weapons as well back in the old days. So that was my first appearance. Um, I was very, very excited. When I got on front page on the other fence, that was my first appearance on public. People noticed me because of my speed kill on Asmodan. And that was pretty impressive because at the moment, um, my kill times on Asmodan was not that much different. So back then, that speed kill took me a lot of time and research just to make the monk characters shine. And then afterwards, uh, it was a whole bunch of different testing, theory crafting, there was the Tempest Rush, um, there was then the Speed Pump build, which I invested a lot of time to make it perfect and improve version by version. And finally, I took a time to write an article, uh, a guide um, on how to use the Speed Pump build. Um, also, uh, I want to thank Modron and Avoid because without them my stream would not be here. Without Modron I would not be here today. He um, did the legend legendary competition with me and I was very small and he helped me a lot with the viewers and also um, let people know me. I still remember the first legendary competition. It was a 12 hours legendary competition and I've never played uh, 12 hours before. I was not really that hardcore in a 12 hours uh, like a straight gaming competition and it almost killed my finger. I was using the speed pump build and it was with the wrong key binding so I like I suffer a lot but that was a good time 12 hours legendary competition and at the end of the day I was very tired um, I did one just like very small margin but it was a very 
happy journey. And when I look at like the followers count that day, it was just insane. I cannot remember. It was in the four digit. So I got more than four digit、um, followers on that day, just because of the the competition and because of Morgan, <laughs> and also my good other competitor that I avoid. So we did a few more afterwards, and every time it was a big success. Every time it was very challenging. It was very competitive, and I don't think I will ever experience the same thing again.、Um, at least in gaming, gaming world. I don't think I will ever experience that again. That was the legendary competition, and then、um, just did a whole bunch of different stuff. For example, I keep challenging myself with like the critical numbers,、um, some speaker on the Ubers,、uh, playing without live steel.、Um, I've been doing that quite a lot lately. So all that、um, hopefully、uh, is a sign for you to not lose hope. Monk, and hopefully that is also a sign to show that with the right gear, with the right knowledge, that you can then maximize your efficiency and so on, like effective DPS. If you are interested in that, so I hope that is something. I hope that all the effort that I spend、uh, means a little bit to some of you, and I hope that it makes you to play Monk characters at least think differently.、Um, To the monk as well, because monk is not just left click and go AFK.、Uh, monk is not just tempest rushing. Monk can do a lot of stuff, and I love monk so much. I play ten characters. I have ten monks, all at Paragon 100. So in a total of 4.5k hours play, they are all monks, and I love it so much that it's gonna be really hard to let it go. And maybe I did miss a few events because there's so many things that we have gone through in this channel, and there's many, many things that we have done.、Uh, I may have missed quite a few. There's always going to be the official forum.、Uh, there's still some information there、um, regarding about like the stuff we have done to speak here, and there are still some tutorials there.、Um, I am not going to close. The Twitch channel, so you guys can always go back and look at some of the highlight if you ever need to. But I will disappear, at least for a while.、Uh, I just need to figure out what will do, what will happen to my real life. And there are things happening. Like today was just the worst day ever. It's not just about my account getting getting hacked.、Um, there was also a personal matter that happens to happen today. So I have two very Like bad news happening right at the same time, and the other thing is my real life stuff, which I actually need to pay more attention to. So I just want to put an end into the other three. I also put an end into streaming, so then I can have my full attentions into my personal matters, which I'm also dealing with at the moment. But. That's all, everything about me. Apart from me,、um, just want to give a shout to, first of all, all my moderators, junior, manager. If you're still here, I don't, I don't think you're here, manager. But let me actually bring out of this. I have like the most moderators in Twitch. <laughs> Uh, no, that's not the command. Okay, so maybe you can.、Uh, I'm gonna copy and this, copy and paste this. But there's a lot. So thank you very much,、um, SS, Aris, Chris, Ash, who designed my overlay, Avoid, my farming buddies, Bao, my most favorite, mo、uh, my most favorite German. Uh, Bob, Udo, <laughs> I've not seen you for a while. Chess, also, I've not seen you for a while. Crow,、um, who's gone? Mods, don't know when I will see him again, but he's also my monk brother on US. And wow, there's so many. He talks, Easy Tiger, Inano, thank you very much. Also, Expert, 
who developed the depot for me to use. Golden Monkey, good idea. Hard Bob, Hardcore, Honeydew, Inigo, especially you, Junior. Out of all my moderators, you are my most senior moderator that is still around. And you have really done too much for me. Conga, Little Giro, Logan, Lowe, Manager, Manaki, Minerva, Mojun. Thank you also very much, Mojun. Moobot, you never say anything. Possum, and Rabbit. Nightbot, who also don't speak at all. Of course, you, Panda. Jason Pence, um, Beelzebub. Another streamer from Institute of Heroes, Philo, my favorite email hunter streamers, Probot, also one of my oldest moderators, uh, along with manager. Unfortunately, he doesn't play anymore. Quicken, Quality, Gappen, Series, Xerox, Sing, Sofu, Sophia, Sweetie. TA Games, Tornado Bots, hey Tornado Bots, how are you doing? And of course Turk, Wham, Wen, Zeus, and Zugi. I'm sorry but that is the amount of moderators I got. So a lot of them. And I really want to thank all my moderators. Um, and there are definitely a lot of good streams to go to. So please do not miss them. Like I already mentioned some of the big streamers out there, but there are other ones for you to notice too. For example, like Rabbit recently started the stream, and also when both of them are my moderators, and they are other truly f good streamers that deserve to be known more as well. Moses, um, Phil. Those two, they are farming, they are playing, they are offering help as much as possible and you guys should always support them too. And there are just many many good streams that deserve to be known. Um, it's a very difficult task for a smaller streams to get big like me and have decent and regular viewers every day. So if you ever need to check any like monk streams, just take a look and you may be surprised on how good they are doesn't mean that you are number one, um, you are the best streams. There are just a lot of decent ones out there. And like no doubt, when Reaper of Soul is out, there's going to be a lot more streams around. And I guess this is going to be the last thing uh, I'm going to say. And as my viewers, without you, there's not going to be in this stream. I will never get to my viewer space, I will never get to like do what I want to do. Uh, I will never get to this stage where I have all the motivations to discover everything, every every little secret about Monk, if it's not because of you guys. I'm so excited every day just to show what I found, just to show you guys, hey I found out this particular mechanic, I found out this particular mechanic that bring me a lot of joy. and. Hopefully, some other monks is going to carry on the same spirit and dedicate themselves into helping people and also dedicate themselves to knowing the game mechanic a bit more. So for that, I really want to say a big thank you to all my viewers. And I think that's it. It is a very good journey and a very good party as well, but all party or journey will eventually come to an end. And this is the end, for me at least. Um, it's not going to be an end for you guys, so please still continue to play the game, still continue to enjoy Diablo, and still continue to use any of my moderators, they will always be around, and look out and seek for good streams around, and may the monk power be with you. I hope you guys enjoy Diablo as much as I do and I hope you also have a very good life and good luck.
see you guys.